Well, we found it. I'm holding in my hands the world's best micro helicopter. This happens to also be ready to fly. So when you buy this, it comes with everything you need from the battery to the charger uh, to get it flying. You don't need anything else, not even the AA batteries. They come with the radio. That's amazing. This thing is super lightweight and really designed to fly indoors, but on this really calm evening, I was just dying to get it outside and fly it. It's a perfect little front yard flyer or backyard flyer, and I highly recommend that if you do fly this outside, you don't fly in any wind or very little. It's just a small guy, so it's not gonna fight through a lot of wind. The cool thing is, it's fly barless. So those of you that are helicopter fans, you know what that means. If you don't, you don't have that little extra plastic weight on the top that makes it fly kind of like a pendulum. This is a variable pitched blade and uh, has safe technology. So in order to keep it level, it uses a smart chip on board and that is just really cool. We're gonna put the small battery in and fly a full flight here where we do our speed tests and have some fun, let's fly. Okay, we're ready for takeoff. If you guys are interested, we'll have this linked in the description box below. It's an amazing setup. You wanna turn your radio on first and then plug in your flight battery. I think it's throttled down and in to the right to arm it and then just go about half throttle or so and we're in the air. This is such a cool little micro helicopter and it's just very easy to fly. In a second, I'll put my hands in front of the camera and show you guys how much I'm having to do on the controls just to get it to hover. Okay, I think this is a good spot. Let's get a little closer just because we have a little bit of a wind going. There you go. That's how easy it is to fly. <laughs> what a lot of people tend to do when they fly a helicopter or a drone for the first time is they throttle up really high, really fast. You don't need to fly full throttle. You need to hold throttle around 50% or so. And then if you want to climb higher, you can juice up and climb high into the sky like this. And really, the cool thing about even a tiny helicopter like this, a lot of people will ask this question. We'll wait for this guy to drive by here. They might ask what the range is on this helicopter. Well, the range is farther than you can see line of sight. Now that car you guys are here and driving by is a very cool old classic car. So I don't mind that one bit. Helicopters and classic cars, yeah, it's a good day. <laughs> okay, let's get back up over the, look, that looks so, okay, Abby, I think Abby's telling me to fly over here in the darker sky. Easier to see with the camera, Abby? Yep. Okay. Yeah, this thing is super easy to fly. And if you do happen to get higher wind, you can hit, here we go, whoo! There's a, there's a rate button. You can hit the rate button on the top left shoulder. Now we're in higher rates and we can fly even faster. So if it was a windy day out, we'd be able to fight through the wind pretty well. That's not even full throttle. There's full forward. But it's really cool that this thing has the uh, self-leveling system using just a smart chip rather than a fly bar on top. So right there when I take my hands off the controls it just does a really nice hover. Use the left stick to also rotate the helicopter like this if you want to make it look like it's doing some cool little stunts. Simple thing. And the right stick controls forward, back, left, and right. What an easy little thing to fly. It's just a nice, relaxing helicopter too. You can, uh, really, the best thing about this helicopter, oh, there's a close up, <laughs> is it helps you learn orientation while you're flying. So if you don't wanna spend three or $400 on your first helicopter setup, you can pick up something like this and teach yourself how to fly orientation. What that means is when the helicopter is facing away from you, like it is now, you know, forward is forward, right is right, left is left but when you're facing you like this the helicopter is now flipped around and you pull right on the right stick whoa the helicopter goes left so you have to kind of teach yourself to, to put yourself in the pilot's seat of a little helicopter like this so that when you pull right it goes right but it is going to its own right there's a neat thing called headless mode that drones have that implement uh, making that a little easier to fly 
Some guys say it's more confusing, but if you understand how it works, and I've always thought it'd be kind of a neat thing to see headless mode on a helicopter, just because if you're flying a helicopter like this, nice and calm and smooth and easy, it flies a whole lot like a simple drone does. So if you can fly a drone, you can fly a helicopter, and a lot of people don't know that. Now, stunt helicopters are a whole different story, and uh, maybe someday I'll work my way up to flying some stunt helicopters, but for a beginner helicopter, this thing is amazing. Also a good benefit, batteries are cheap and easy to come by. So if you like this helicopter, we'll have more batteries linked in the description box below too. The exact perfect ones for it. They all charge via this little USB charger. I'll show you at the end of the video here, um, after our battery runs out and we land the helicopter, I'll show you the USB charger. It's a really great but simple charger. You, uh, you have a red light when it's charging and a green light when it's done. You'd be amazed at how many chargers just can't get that right. Let's just kind of do a little more figure eights and moving around a little bit more. Now when you kind of get into helicopters a little bit more, you start doing your flying with the yaw and the pitch. So you bank and you use what would be the rudder input at the same time and you can perform a little bit tighter maneuvers. Also, people ask, first time flyers, this is a, a common question, um, and I want to know, What's the most common question you guys get in the comments? Let me know. If you're an RC guy, what is the main question a family member, a friend, or just a bystander might ask you? I think we all have the same ones, but I wanna hear uh, what the most common question is for you. Now, some people might ask, well, how many of these can I fly together, Nate? You know, if I wanna get one for myself, get one for my son and my daughter, and for the three grandkids, oh, that's our battery. How many can we fly together? The answer is, almost unlimited theoretically. You could easily have a hundred of these in the air at the same time and have no interference. The cool thing is even this guy driving that really cool old Dodge classic car, he stopped and parked far enough away and wanted to watch this. Even this micro helicopter draws attention. People just love watching these things fly, as, as do I. Uh, this is the charger. So. If you have a phone charger or your car has a USB port, a lot of newer cars have USB ports now. Even lamps have USB ports now. You can plug this in and charge your little helicopter while you're on the go. The box that it comes in is smaller than one of my shoes. So it's a really nice travel RC. You can take this anywhere. It doesn't take up any storage space at all. Truly the best little micro helicopter that I've ever come across. It even comes with spare main blades in case you'd crash and snap one, which is kind of hard to do, but if you do on asphalt like this or something, it can happen. And on top of that, spare part availability is out there because it's a good company, it's a good brand. So if you want the best micro RC helicopter that you can buy, we'll have it linked in the description box below. I absolutely love this hobby, and I even more love sharing it with my family and just anyone willing to watch. And for that, I thank God. I'm also very grateful for each and every one of our patrons because without that support, we could not do the content that we do. It couldn't be as often as it is or as free as it is. So to every one of our Patreon supporters, thank you guys so much from the bottom of our hearts. We'll have a small airplane video popping up right about now. It sounds like a storm's getting ready to blow in. Abby, I think it's a good time to end the video. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in that video. Bye!